Welcome to South Florida Saltwater Fishing. I'm Heath and in today's video uh, we're going to go over basic trolling setup. Um, this setup you can use for dolphin, tuna, bonita, wahoo, sailfish, barracudas, like cirro mackerel, kingfish, um, pretty much uh, you know the gamut that runs uh, you know right off the reef. Um, which is where I tend to troll between uh, 90 and 300 feet. When I troll, I'm not going for the uh, the biggest fish in the ocean. I'm going for the tastiest. Uh, so they tend to, you know, be more uh, juvenile to, you know, one to three years in age fish. Not, you know, I don't, I'm not going for a 74 and a half pound dolphin that tastes like everything it's been eating. Um, so yeah, let me get right into it. Um, basically. Uh, what I do is I'll start out with uh, one of these. This is my uh, favorite go-to lure for when I'm trolling. Um, this is a five inch billy bait. See what it looks like. It's got a bullet tip chrome weighted head. The colors are blue, purple, iridescent, and white. Uh, this is sort of my go-to lure for when I'm trolling with lures. Um, so what you'll want to do is uh, I, I would take um, my line that would, uh, my main line coming from my reel. This is, um, I'm going to make believe I am using my big large spinner. Um, this is uh, the Momoi 20 pound test that I use. It's on my spinner. And so what I will do is I'll start out with a number seven snap swivel. I know it's rather small, but like I said, I'm not going for giant fish. This works just fine. So with the snap swivel, we're going to tie basic clinch knot. Okay. And then we're going to trim the tag end. So this is essentially the line coming from my reel. I have a snap swivel on. Next thing, um, when I'm trolling, I use a um, 40 pound leader on this. Like I said, I've caught wahoo, I've caught selfish, dolphin, the, the, the whole spectrum with them. And I'll show you what hooks I use. Um, but I don't, I don't go real heavy. I, just like the challenge and I catch plenty of fish so uh, you know sometimes you get cut off um, most of the time you get them so you know it's personal choice if you want to use 150 pound leader it, it can the techniques all the same it's just a uh, you know same knot maybe a few less twists so you can actually tie it without getting too warped with the line uh, me I use 40 pound test this is uh, what I got this from Walmart it's trialing 40 pound basic stuff I've had this spool forever so what I would do is I'll take my leader and I'm going to feed it through the front end of my lure and come out the back side and here it is. Now I've basically threaded my line onto my lure. Now with the bottom end I'm going to tie my hook. I use double hooks for trolling. These hooks are 6-0 thick wire. Um, you can get them, you have to make them yourself, hook them together. I've showed how to make double hooks in another video. Uh, but you can buy these from any bait store. Uh, I got these from Bass Pro Shop. They actually came on a pre-rigged lure, which uh, I don't really like pre-rigged lures because um, they could fail on you. Somebody else has tied them, not you. So um, if you tie good knots yourself and you trust yourself, cut them off and I made these. Um, okay. so. Thread through, we're going to, again, on the hooks, we're going to tie a basic clinch knot. Alright, then we're going to trim the tag end. Okay, so now we've got our hooks. Now we've got our lure. So that's what it looks like. So what you can see here is you see how 
the hook is hanging out the end of the lure. That's what you want. You've got a hook embedded up in here, which is your first hook. That actually is hidden inside the lure and this one. So when you're trolling, I troll with this at about oh, four to five knots. You're going just fast enough. You're not going so slow that you know a fish could kind of eyeball it. You're going just fast enough that they're, if they're hungry, they're going to peg it. And then you know, double hook. You you're gonna you know you increase your chances of uh, you know um, getting the bite and hooking up and uh, not missing the fish. So what I would do next is I take about six. My arm spans about six feet, so I'll take about six to seven feet of this leader. That way you keep in your terminal tackle, which is your swivels, away from the uh, line of sight. It'll make a little bit of trailing bubbles. And um, another note, if you want to, you can tie a spider hitch to a no-name knot for this application also. For this video, I'm doing general purpose of um, snap swivel to This swivel, which is just a number seven uh, bead chain swivel. Uh, you can do spider hitch to no name knot. It works just as effectively. I will show that. Um, as a matter of fact, I can show you that here after I'm done with this. And uh, I'll do that. I'll just cut this off and show you how to do it. So we're going to tie this swivel on. And again, another basic clinch knot. Trim your tag end. All right, so now I've got bead chain swivel, snap swivel. We're gonna hook them together. And there you go, there's your connection right there. So basically we've got main line to the reel, seven feet, and you're hooked up ready for trolling. Four to five knots. Like I said, that you know, 9,300 feet, this will catch them all day long. If you see debris in the water, troll by it. Don't troll over it. Uh, and you should get something. If there's something out there and it's hungry and it's eating, I like this lure. It looks like what swims around in our general area. Flying fish, ballyhoo, small bonita, you know, all sorts of bait fish, um, uh, Sardines, everything that swims around that area, this kind of looks like when you're trolling it through the water. I like them. You can hook, uh, you can hook a ballyhoo onto it. You can hook a bonita strip onto it. Whatever you might uh, want to do. Uh, this is how I do it. So um, that is that for basics. All right, now we're going to do a little bit more complicated knot, which is basically uh, what you would, you know, instead of using a bimini twist. So we're going to cut off the swivels, and I'm going to show you how to tie line to line. So, what we're going to do is, this would be your main line going to your fishing reel. We're going to start with a spider hitch. Oops. So we got a spider hitch going on here. trim off the tag end. So we've got our spider hitch loop. Now at the end of our spider hitch loop we are going to tie on the end of our leader of our 40 pound leader that's hooked up to our that is hooked up to our um, our lure. So I put the my, my leader it's going to go through my loop and I'm going to find the center. All right, if you pull it tight against your thing, you'll be right in the center of it. I'll take it and I'm going to pinch it and I'm going to wrap it up against towards my line of my reel. Yeah, put it right in there. And now I'm going to pull it tight and I got a no name knot tied onto my spider hitch. And then I will trim that up, and that's what that looks like. So here's my spider hitch on this side, which is a loop. As 
see my loop tied on to my leader in this hand. Here's my spider hitch right here. Comes down to a no-name knot right there, and then my leader. And I got about seven feet of it hooked on to my lure. That is how you do trolling without tying on swivels. Now, if, uh, you know, the swivel effect works if you want to switch up lures um, quicker. Uh, if you have a shiny swivel, sometimes the fish will hit that, so you got to be careful using them. I tend to, you know, get them wet and let them dole out a little bit. Um, but that's a basic setup for trolling, and uh, that's how I do it. So if you like this video, hit a like, uh, click on the notifications if you want one. Uh, every time I make a new video, you'll get a uh, notification. Um, if you like what you see and you like my uh, channel, um, hit subscribe and uh, you'll get a, also you'll get little notifications and stuff going on every time I uh, make something new and I'd appreciate it. Alright, uh, it's Heat, South Florida Saltwater Fishing. Uh, I'll see you out on the water soon.